The crisis in Niger Republic is not one the ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government is taking lightly with the defiant stance by the junta in Niger on returning the country to democratic rule. The body has called for another meeting today which will consider the report of the various envoys sent to mediate on the issue and adopt the next line of action. Moya Thomas has details. The military hunter in Niger has called the bluff of the ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government, which are threatened to take action if power was not returned to the elected president within one week. The ultimatum has relapsed with the hunter still holding on to power. ECOWAS authority of heads of state and government in his earlier meeting had threatened it would do anything to ensure democracy is returned to Niger, including the use of force. This has raised concerns and even debate in many quarters, with analysts questioning the powers of ECOWAS authority to do so and the impact it may have on Nigeria, which shares the largest land border with Niger, especially the seven northern states. Some civil society organizations have also taken ECOWAS authority to the ECOWAS court, seeking restraints from going to war with Niger. This is because the ECOWAS protocol recognizes the sovereignty of every member state. This sovereignty is what the coup plotters are insisting on in daring the authority. The coup plotters have even gone ahead to warn France, the United States and other Western countries against meddling in their affairs. The Niger hunter are further emboldened by the support they have received from Burkina Faso and Mali. It is an indication that these Francophone countries are indeed ready to break free from France, their original colonial powers. The ECOWAS authorities' stand remains that power must transcend in a democratic manner according to the protocol of the regional body. The ECOWAS protocol on peace, security, stability and good governance was recognized in the 1993 treaty. The 2001 Supplementary Protocol on Democracy and Good Governance in its Article 1c has zero tolerance for power obtained or maintained by unconstitutional means. It insists on strict adherence to democratic principles. This is the basis that ECOWAS is insisting that President Mohamed Bazoum, who was democratically elected, must be reinstated by the military leaders. The world now looks to ECOWAS to champion the mission of returning democracy to at least Niger as the body meets on Thursday. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.